This is the CSU Pueblo University Library Quick Class on how to define primary sources. So why is this worth knowing? Well, primary sources have unique benefits and drawbacks. How these sources are created is going to affect how you find them. But once you have an understanding of this process, it'll help you find better sources for your research. When it comes to defining primary sources, it's helpful to think about how history gets written. First, an event happens, something takes place, and people witness that initial event. Those people then create records describing that initial event. So these are first-hand accounts. It could be a photograph, a newspaper, a letter, anything. The important thing is that it was created by someone who was actually there. From there, others read those first-hand accounts and interpret them. Those people are now writing history. Then other people will read those interpretations and interpret them in new ways, writing more history. This process goes on and on. So when it comes to writing history, it's important to recognize that primary sources come from direct witnesses. Secondary sources are interpretations of primary sources. Whenever something is interpreted, the author is going to add bias. It's unavoidable. For that reason, good research gets as close to the original event as possible. To do that, you need to use primary sources. So this has been just a quick overview of primary sources, but if you have any questions, please feel free to ask a librarian.